Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, Busey Bank. Busey, your dream, our promise. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm your host, Jane Burnett. I'm joined now by Alicia Johnson and Dr. Shelley Menendez from the Indian Prairie Educational Foundation. So welcome. Thank you. you. Good to have you both here. And Alicia, I'm going to start with you as the executive director. Tell us about the IPEF, when it started, and what it means to District 204. Certainly. Well, thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit about the Indian Prairie Educational Foundation, which got its start back in 1988, so over 30 years ago, and was really created with District 204 to provide support for our arts program, um, whose uh, funding had been cut. So fast forward 30 years and um, our programs have expanded and we are so happy to continue the partnership with the district to support our students in District 204. That's awesome. Well, and it's always interesting to find out kind of what prompts these organizations, right? So a cut in arts and in you step. Nice. Yes, yes, absolutely. And it is interesting to discover more about how the programs have expanded and reached into different areas. Okay, well with that, Shelley, tell us a little bit about that because you've been around this for a while. Yeah, sure. And I think the key is that we have just continue this partnership with the district over the years. So as the district needs have expanded based on what students need, we have helped to, uh, the district to support those programs. So while we still do fund Fine Arts Festival mm -hmm. and the arts programs, we also uh, provide funding for robotics. Uh, we do heart screenings for our ninth and 11th graders. We have social emotional programs that we support. And we also support um, our growing at risk youth population. Okay. Now, you also, one thing you have that you didn't mention there um, is your teacher grants. Yep. So explain a little bit about that and how that program works. Yep, and that, that program actually was part of the inception with uh, the fine arts program. Uh, teacher grants, we have a lot of amazing educators in our district, and so we provide grants to teachers who have innovative and creative solutions um, and enhancements to curriculum and instruction. So uh, things that would actively involve our students, do project-based learning experiences, as well as authentic experiences that are kind of relatable to the real world. So to give you just a, a short list, yeah. uh, we funded a wind tunnel, which I would have <laughs> loved to have seen that. Um, we do a ro additional robotics programs, fossils. Uh, we did a DNA visualization technology mm -hmm. um, um, project, which that would have been really neat, as well as a crime scene investigation. So this might be teachers who bring in experts in the field who can come and walk, a student, walk the students through what they do in their workplace and how students can um, be a part of that experience. So it's, it's just a really interesting uh, way to get more to the kids. Yeah, and that's really, I mean, that's what you are as an educational foundation, right? I mean, you're above and beyond those tax dollars. You're yeah. bringing programming to students that they otherwise would not be able to receive. Correct. Yeah. Right, absolutely. And I think, um, you know, you mentioned a little bit about the at-risk students. Yeah. Uh, so say a little bit more about some of the programs yeah, that sure. you've developed to support that population. Yeah, three in particular. And uh, the first is our Kids Essential, which is emergency temporary relief uh, for families who might be in a homeless or a transient situation. So we'll offer gift cards to um, shopping, gas cards. We might do storage facility rental for them while they're in between spaces. Uh, the other one is a partnership through the district as well as 360 Youth Services. It's called Back on Track. And they have their counselors who come into our schools and work with students who might be identified as having some difficulty in, in, in their academic situation. Uh, and the good thing about that is the counselors come to the school so the kids don't have to have transportation outside yeah. of the school setting. Uh, the third one, which is really a teacher-initiated uh, program, um, Ann Cluxton over at Matea Valley uh, put together the Valley Runway. And Valley Runway is um, basically uh, uh, gently used dresses um, and sometimes newer mm -hmm. ones for students who uh, are on the lower income scale and can uh, attend prom. So yeah. we give them prom dresses, and we also do ton, uh, she uh, supports um, rentals of tuxedos as well. So that's a real popular one. It's a great one because we know, you know, 
prom is not a necessity, but it's part of your high school experience, and it's great that we get a lot of community support uh, for that program. Yeah, I love that one. I know we've done a yeah. story on it, and mm -hmm. I think you know when you are in a in a community like ours, mm -hmm. um, to not be able to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, due to lack of funds yep. uh, and something like you said it's a little bit of a rite of passage right. that whole prom experience exactly. so that's mm -hmm. a very uh, wonderful program and I think as you mentioned it seems like a lot of this stuff it's all bubbling up from your front line from your staff and your teachers right? Mm -hmm. Yes absolutely we have an amazing staff and group of teachers in District 204 uh, innovative thinking outside of the box providing opportunities for our students to really prepare them for the for the future another program that we support too just quickly is our STEM based program of robotics yeah. and that is something that's really grown over the last few years. Um, in fact um, this initiative that is held after school um, is going to provide an opportunity for almost 660 students to participate this year. That's fantastic. In yes, in 22 of our schools here in District 204. So it's just a great opportunity to bring these kids together to um, really advance scientific learning, um, to focus on collaborative teamwork, um, to really stretch their minds as they are building these robots and take them to competitions and tournaments. So it's just just another way that the foundation um, is just proud to support this forward thinking um, opportunities for our students um, to prepare them for the future. That's awesome. Well, I know you also have one thing, and I'm curious about what it is. It's called the Sea of Yellow. What is that? <laughs> I, I've heard it in connection. Right. So you have to be a runner to know that. <laughs> um, well, as we all know, I'm not. So, so enlighten me. <laughs> right. Well, absolutely. Shelly is a runner. And just a little bit about the Sea of Yellow. Um, this is our sixth year to participate in the Healthy Driven Naperville Half Marathon and 5K. Team IPEF, once again, was the largest charity partner, and our team was made up of 555 members, including um, staff members and teachers and spouses, uh, community members, parents, um, students all coming together wearing proudly the shade of yellow our, our, our which we training, all look so good in that's right our training <laughs> shirt color wheel. and our, our race day shirt and um, those yellows were just popping up all over the community so it's just a great initiative it's our largest fundraiser of the year um, and it's a great way for such a large um, geographically dispersed uh, district with so many students and staff members to come together and work towards one common goal of raising funds um, for our students and for our staff. So we are very proud of our team members and uh, breaking records right and left. And um, what's so another great thing about that, everything that's raised, half of those funds go right back directly into the schools. Um, so once again, the sea of yellow filling the streets of Naperville, Shelly was there. <laughs> And uh, we're looking forward to next year as well. Well, wonderful. And it was at least it was a nice day this year, right? Beautiful. It was, it it was, was a really beautiful. Nice day. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much to both of you for coming on and sharing a little bit about the background of IPEF, how it got started, the programs, and where those are kind of really bubbling up from and how you're going about funding them. We appreciate your time. If you would like to find out more about Indian Prairie Educational Foundation, please go and visit their website. We're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned. We're coming right back with more Spotlights.